Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video on Apache Scoop. In today's video, uh, I'll just discuss that uh, how we can work with the different file formats. Uh, like uh, you must be aware that there are multiple formats in which we can store our data. So like while importing the uh, data from the um, RDBMS to HDFS, we can store the result in different file formats. Uh, uh, today I'm, I'm going to t discuss about three file formats, Avro, Parquet, and the sequence one, sequence files, right? So as you can see in the front of your screen right now is that uh, I've, uh, I've already opened my SQL in which I, I'm having one table which is employee under the database uh, E1. So what I'll do now, I'll just import this data in, in which I'm only having a single column ID, uh, a single value five, and this will be stored in the uh, SDFS in different file formats. So let's first discuss about the Avro. Uh, Avro is a row-based uh, storage format for Hadoop, uh, which is widely used as a serialization platform. So uh, it stores the data definition in JSON format, so that uh, we can uh, we can uh, easily understand because it is very easy to read and interpret by any program. So actually, basically, Avro stores the results in a JSON format. Uh, so so th that's the reason we use it in the uh, while doing the import in Scoop. So let's start with the Avro here that how we can store the file in Avro format while performing the scoop import. For which I have already uh, written the uh, syntax here. Uh, first of all before discussing this syntax, uh, one thing uh, you need to keep in mind that uh, if you are performing this uh, little uh, import using the Avro uh, format, you may face this error. Okay, That's the reason I have already written here. This is a very very common error that you may face while importing data using Avro format. Uh, for that thing, I have already. I will now first tell you the solution for this. Otherwise, when you perform this, you may face the error, which is uh, which states uh, caused by Java dot lang dot no such method error. It's a very very common error, and uh, there is a, uh, then you need to refer to Stack Overflow or some other uh, platforms to the uh, to get the solutions. So I'll tell you the solution first of all. Then I'll discuss that how we can import data. For this, uh, just you have to do one thing that uh, uh, in the scoop, okay, uh, we already have the uh, one uh, Avro uh, jar available. You need to just rip, you need to just rip, uh, take this jar and you need to copy into the Hadoop uh, uh, jar, Hadoop of uh, uh, lib folder, because Hadoop also having the Avro format file, uh, but you need to replace with the uh, the file which is available with the scoop. First of all, like uh, first of all, just write uh, do this. Um, uh, Run this, run this command straight away. If in case if you get the error, then this is the solution. As I can I can show you what I have did to overcome this error. You can see here that um, under the lib folder of scoop, okay, and I'm just copying the Avro what is been shipped with the uh, scoop, and I'm just pay, copying it on the on this location under the Hadoop directory share Hadoop common lib. Okay, you need to just like replace the uh, existing jar with this jar. Right. What you can do is under the lib folder in, under the Hadoop, you can just uh, like uh, remove that jar and replace with this jar in case if you get error, which is stated here. Otherwise, if the command works fine, it's fine. But in case if you get error, this is the solution for this. Okay, let's start with the first uh, thing. That in this case, what we are doing is it's a similar uh, scoop import command that I've already discussed in my uh, previous video of uh, scoop import. Just a uh, one thing we have added here is that. This the last suffix which states as Avro data file. Okay, so let me just paste in and in it, let me first uh, like fill the blank here that target location I want to, you uh, to be my desktop home Amrit. Okay, let me write here home Amrit desktop. I'm saving it, let's suppose folder name is E. Okay. So let me copy here. Just I hope uh, you are aware of the things that is scoop space import connect uh, JDBC string. E1 is my database name. Username is Amrit. Password is 123 table employee, which I've already shown you. M stands for mapper, and this is my target location. Just one thing to is appended to the last, uh, to the end of this uh, command, which is Avro data file. Rest everything is same. So let me copy this and uh, paste it here. Copy, paste it here. And in this case, we need to just uh, 
do one thing we need to specify here forward slash right rest everything is same now press enter wait for some time here okay you can see I got the acknowledgement here that uh, it is uh, we have retrieved one record just to verify that I've got the uh, look, uh, the folder on the desired location or not you can see here this is my desktop and this is the file and you can see the extension is now Avro dot Avro <coughs> it is the um, JSON format now you can open in the let's suppose in the writer and you can see this is the like a JSON format in which we have a a key value pair available right I hope now it is fine okay so this is the first format in which we can store the data next format we have is the sequence file okay so the sequence file is also one of the format uh, of Hadoop uh, it is a flat file consisting of the binary key value pairs it is extensively uh, used in the MapReduce as an input output format so it's one of the widely used format we have uh, uh, so how we can do this thing in this case again the similar command just have to replace with the now as sequence file right this is the suffix you need to add to the existing command to get it done so I'm already having the uh, the command with me just have to make little change now instead of e let's suppose I'm putting at e1 now and here I'm just changing to sequence file rest everything is same sequence file right press enter okay wait for some time here okay so you can see again we have retrieved one record and again to verify let me take you to the desktop and we got a even format in which I'm having the file available this success marks the like successful uh, importing of the data from the RDBMS so last one is uh, it is the parquet file so now what what the parquet file stands for parquet file uh, actually is again one of the very common format we use in um, uh, Hadoop it's an open source file format it stores the nested data structures in a flat columnar format so like uh, traditionally we use the uh, we use row oriented approach but it make use of a column oriented approach um, uh, so that which is um, um, which is uh, like efficient in the terms of uh, the storage and performance okay so like uh, here we are using the flat columnar format uh, which help you to uh, get more uh, performance and the storage so how we can achieve this again similar command just a uh, one thing to be added at the end of the command which is as parquet file so again what I'll do now just to save my time I'm just uh, changing the location to e2 and I'm just replacing it with the parquet power quit again press enter and wait for the result okay again uh, it says that uh, we have got record let me check it here e2 yes e2 is available and you can see the extension of the file is parquet so like this marks the end of this video in which uh, I have now uh, told you that how we can import the data uh, using different file formats I hope you must have understood and uh, please uh, note the error and the solution which I've told you in case if you got any other error or um, any problem let me know thanks for watching see you in next video